here is what I heard on CNN yesterday. I want you to listen to this. Cut one. Uh, I want to play one exchange that was kind of classic. Well, there were a lot of exchanges that were exchanges that were classic Donald Trump, but this one really stuck out to us. And Nagasaki were, were bombed, but now they're they're like full cities again. So right, it's clearly right, not right. something right. that you know. That's um, right. So it's, it's not it's not as scary as people think, basically. So that was more Elon Musk than uh, Donald Trump talking about sort of suggesting that what happened almost 80 years ago, I think 80 years ago next year, uh, the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Now it's OK. Um, kind of trying to blow off the, the impact of that. OK. Some of us are responsible Some of us listened to the entire two hours of Donald Trump and Elon Musk because it was an important conversation. And some of us realized that Donald Trump is truly terrified of nuclear war. He understands that it's the end of the world if we have nuclear war. And he warned maybe seven times, we cannot get into a nuclear war. When Elon Musk said, well, you know, the economy, he said, yes, the economy, but the number one killer of the entire system of the world will be nuclear war. And it's, it, we cannot go into World War III. So he said that seven times, at least, over and over and over again. I think it was his main point. Um, and so, wait. Classic Donald Trump saying it was no big deal. Wait a minute. He was, he, his main point was that nuclear war is on the horizon and it cannot be an option. So here's what he actually said. If you want to put context with it, I'm showing you just because you need to tell your friends. You, you know, liars don't like liars. Okay? Nobody likes a liar. Even liars don't like liars. So you got to start talking to your friends and saying, look, here's the evidence. You have been lied to. You are being manipulated. This is, this is Goebbels-style propaganda because it's everywhere. It's, all, it's just not directed, well, I don't think. They all seem to use the same phrases immediately at the same time. So maybe it is, I don't know. But it's not necessarily coordinated from a central hub, although it may be. And they are lying to, and I'll show you some of the lies. And it's not just about policy. It's about important things that will impact your life and possibly the life of, of our planet. So what did he actually say? Cut to. There's the bad side of nuclear, which is a nuclear war, very bad side. But there's there's also, I think, um, nuclear le- electricity Absolutely. generation is underrated. You're right. Um, and it's actually, you know, people have this fear of, of nuclear um, nuclear electricity generation, um, but it, but it's actually one of the safest forms of electricity generation. It's it's, it's just a huge misunderstanding. Um, and uh, if you look at the injuries and deaths, you know, caused by, say, I mean, I'm not going to try to pick on coal mining, but just any kind of mining operation. Right. Um, and uh, there's a certain number of, of, of injuries and deaths per year. Um, and you compare that to nuclear, nuclear is actually uh, way better. Um, so it's, it's underrated as, a, as an electricity source. And I think it's, it's something that's worth reconsidering. But there's so much regulation that people can't get it done. Um, so that you know, maybe they'll have to change the name. Had, you know. The name is just, it's a rough name. There are some areas like yeah, it's rough like name. when you see what happened in good, good bad branding. Right, the branding. We'll have to rough. rebrand it. We'll have to give it a good name. We'll name it after you or something. You know, um, <laughs> no, it has a, <laughs> hey, it has a branding problem. You know, when you see what happened, <laughs> it does have a branding problem. You, when you see what happened in Japan, where they say you won't be able to go on the land for about three thousand years. Did you ever see that? And in Russia, where they had the problem, where they. You know, the, there's a lot of bad things happened, and uh, they have a problem. And they say that in 2,000 years, people will start to occupy the land again. You know, you realize it's pretty bad. No, but, that's not true. But there's, you're well, right no, no, about it's, it. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's, it's actually not that bad. So, so, like, after Fukushima happened in Japan, like, I, pe- people were asking me in California, 
you know, are we worried about like a nuclear cloud coming from Japan? I'm like, no, that's crazy. It's it's actually it's not even dangerous in Fukushima. I actually flew there and 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 ate locally grown vegetables on TV to prove it. Um, and, and and I donated a a, a solar water treatment, yeah, you know, a solar powered system for a water treatment plant. And um, yeah, but you haven't been feeling so well it, lately, and I'm worried about it. No, no, but I mean, <laughs> I'm it's, only it's, kidding. It's I'm fine, like, you know. It's it's like. Uh, you know, uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki were, were bombed, but now they're they're like full cities again. So right. it's, it's well, really great. not that's something great. that you know. That's um, so it's, it's not it's not as scary as people think, basically. Yeah. But. <clears throat> so was he trying to excuse and say what happened uh, eighty years ago was not so bad? Is that what Donald Trump was talking about? Is that what Elon Musk was talking about? No, not at all. Not at all. I'm telling you, I think the media is going to do Donald Trump a favor. Did you hear, play cut three. This is Stephen Colbert. Listen to this. This is how out of it's touch It's kind of been are. this moment where he has not been able to coalesce around a single attack line. I know you guys are objective over there that you just report the news as it is. <laughs> Oh, I know. CNN makes it. I know. Was that supposed to be a laugh line? I wasn't supposed to be, but uh, I guess it is. Yes, it is, because everyone knows they're not fair and objective. Evidence? I just played it for you. So they're a laugh line now. People understand what is happening right now. Now, we're going to talk about the poll numbers with Trafalgar here in a few minutes, and you're going to see that. It's having an impact, but you can only do this for so long. What is their long-term plan when they make her into this, you know, sweet little girl who just wants to do the right thing, and she's got a teddy bear of a vice president, and you're just going to give America a hug. How, how, how are they going to uh, explain the effects of their socialist programs? How are they going to do it? The, 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 the jig is up. It's over. It's over. Um, and you just, it hasn't caught up yet. But people, because they are so blatant now that people are going to turn on them, it's going to happen exactly the way it happened with, um, with the uh, taking Trump to court all the time. Which, by the way, did you see that the UAW is taking Donald Trump and Elon Musk to court? Yeah, it's, um, it's really weird. They just will not learn a lesson. Apparently, the United Auto Workers, who Donald Trump is probably the biggest friend to the auto workers because he's going to stop all of this um, electric car bull crap that nobody wants to buy, and so Ford can't make trucks because they have uh, all kinds of quotas they have to hit with cars that nobody wants to buy. You think you're going to keep your job? You really think the auto that that's the future auto workers? No, you're smarter than that. You know that. So now the head of the United Auto Workers has filed uh, federal labor charges against former President Trump and Elon Musk following their interview. Because during the conversation, who the Washington Examiner points out was delayed due to a technical difficulty, Trump and Musk advocated for legal firing of striking workers. And you can't do that. Un. Believable. Unbelievable. It's going to backfire on them. Uh, Because some of us have just had enough, and their lies are so blatant that it is going to come back on them.